Bukhara Uzbek Latin, Biksoro, Uzbek Cyrillic, Buhor O, Parsi Bikehara is a city in Uzbekistan. Bukhara is a city museum, with about 140 architectural monuments. The nation's fifth largest city, it had a population of 247,644 as of 31 August 2016. People have inhabited the region around Bukhara for at least five millennia, and the city has existed for half that time. The mother tongue of the majority of people of Bukhara is Tajik. Located on the Silk Road, the city has long served as a center of trade, scholarship, culture, and religion. UNESCO has listed the historic center of Bukhara which contains numerous mosques and madrasas as a World Heritage Site. Topic. Names Bukhara was known as Bukhara in 19th and early 20th century English publications and as Buhe, Puhe Buhi in Tang Chinese. According to the Encyclopedia Iranica, the name Bukhara is possibly derived from the Sogdian Beta Uxuric, place of good fortune. Muhammad ibn Jafar Narshaki in his History of Bukhara, completed 943 to 44 CE, mentions Bukhara has many names. One of its name was Numaykat. It has also been called Bumaskat. It has two names in Arabic. One is Medinat al Sufriya, meaning the Copper City, and another is Medinat al Tujar, meaning the City of Merchants. But, the name Bukhara is more known than all the other names. In Khorasan, there is no other city with so many names. Since the Middle Ages, the city has been known as Buhara, Bikehara in Arabic and Persian sources. The modern Uzbek spelling is Biksoro. The city's name was mythologized as Albraca in the Italian epic poem Orlando Enamorato published in 1483 by Matteo Maria Boyardo. History The history of Bukhara stretches back millennia. It is now the capital of Bukhara region of Uzbekistan. Located on the Silk Road, the city has long been a center of trade, scholarship, culture, and religion. During the Golden Age of the Samanids, Bukhara became a major intellectual center of the Islamic world, second only to Baghdad. The historic center of Bukhara, which contains numerous mosques and madrasas, has been listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Bukhara has been one of the main centers of world civilization from its early days in 6th century BCE. From the 6th century CE, Turkic speakers gradually moved in. Its architecture and archaeological sites form one of the pillars of Central Asian history and art. The region of Bukhara was a part of the Persian Empire for a long time. The origin of many of its current inhabitants goes back to the period of Aryan immigration into the region. The Samanid Empire seized Bukhara, the capital of Greater Khorasan, in 903 CE. Genghis Khan besieged Bukhara for 15 days in 1220 CE. As an important trading center, Bukhara was home to a community of medieval Indian merchants from the city of Multan modern-day Pakistan who were noted to own land in the city. Bukhara was the last capital of the Emirate of Bukhara and was besieged by the Red Army during the Russian Civil War. During the Bukhara Operation of 1920, an army of well-disciplined and well-equipped Red Army troops under the command of Bolshevik General Mikhail Frunz attacked the city of Bukhara. On 31 August 1920, the Emir Alim Khan fled to Dushanbe in eastern Bukhara later he escaped from Dushanbe to Kabul in Afghanistan. On 2 September 1920, after four days of fighting, the Emir's citadel the Ark was destroyed, the red flag was raised from the top of Kalyan Minaret. On 14 September 1920, the Al-Bukharan Revolutionary Committee was set up, headed by A. Mukhitanov. The government—the Council of People's Nazirs commissars—was presided over by Faisullah Kojaev. The Bukharan People's Soviet Republic existed from 1920 to 1925 when the city was integrated into the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic. Fitzroy MacLean, then a young diplomat in the British Embassy in Moscow, made a surreptitious visit to Bukhara in 1938, sightseeing and sleeping in parks. In his memoir Eastern Approaches, he judged it an enchanted city, with buildings that rivaled the finest architecture of the Italian Renaissance. 
In the latter half of the 20th century, the war in Afghanistan and civil war in Tajikistan brought Dari and Tajik-speaking refugees into Bukhara and Samarkand. After integrating themselves into the local Tajik population, these cities face a movement for annexation into Tajikistan with which the cities have no common border. Historic monuments in Bukhara Complex Po i Kalyan complex The title Po i Kalyan, also Poi Kalyan, Persian Pei clan meaning the Grand Foundation, belongs to the architectural complex located at the base of the Great Minaret Kalyan. Kalyan Minaret. More properly, Minara i Kalyan, Persian, Tajik for the Grand Minaret. Also known as the Tower of Death, as according to legend it is the site where criminals were executed by being thrown off the top for centuries. The minaret is most famed part of the ensemble, and dominates over historical center of the city. The role of the minaret is largely for traditional and decorative purposes. Its dimension exceeds the bounds of the main function of the minaret, which is to provide a vantage point from which the muezzin can call out people to prayer. For this purpose it was enough to ascend to a roof of mosque. This practice was common in initial years of Islam. The word, minaret, derives from the Arabic word, minara. Lighthouse, or more literally, a place where something burn. The minarets of the region were possible adaptations of fire towers or lighthouses of previous Zoroastrian eras. The architect, whose name was simply Bako, designed the minaret in the form of a circular pillar brick tower, narrowing upwards. The diameter of the base is 9 meters 30 feet, while at the top it is 6 meters 20 feet. The tower is 45.6 meters 150 feet high, and can be seen from vast distances over the flat plains of Central Asia. There is a brick spiral staircase that twists up inside around the pillar, leading to the landing in 16 arched rotunda and skylight, upon which is based a magnificently designed stalactite cornice or Sharif. Kalan Mosque Masjid i Kalan, arguably completed in 1514, is equal to the Bibi Kanem Mosque in Samarkand in size. The mosque is able to accommodate 12,000 people. Although Kalyan Mosque and Bibi Kanem Mosque of Samarkand are of the same type of building, they are different in terms of art of building. 288 monumental pylons serve as a support for the multi-domed roofing of the galleries encircling the courtyard of Kalyan Mosque. The longitudinal axis of the courtyard ends up with a portal to the main chamber Maxura with a cruciform hall, topped with a massive blue cupola on a mosaic drum. The edifice keeps many architectural curiosities, for example, a hole in one of domes. Through this hole one can see foundation of Kalyan Minaret. Then moving back step by step, one can count all belts of brickwork of the minaret to the rotunda, Mir-i Arab Madrasa The construction of Mir-i Arab Madrasa, Mir Arab Madrasa is ascribed to Sheikh Abdullah Yamani of Yemen. Called Mir-i Arab, the spiritual mentor of Ubaidullah Khan and his son Abdul Aziz Khan. Ubaidullah Khan waged permanent successful war with Iran. At least three times his troops seized Herat. Each of such plundering raids on Iran was accompanied by capture of great many captives. They say that Ubaidullah Khan had invested money gained from redemption of more than 3,000 Persian captives into construction of Mir-i Arab Madrasa. Ubaidullah Khan was very religious. He had been nurtured in high respect for Islam in the spirit of Sufism. His father named him in honor of prominent sheikh of the 15th century Ubaidullah al-Arar by origin from Tashkent region. By the 30s of the 16th century the time, when sovereigns erected splendid mausoleums for themselves and for their relatives, was over. Khans of Shabanid dynasty were standard bearers of Quran traditions. The significance of religion was so great that even such famed Khan as Ubaidullah was conveyed to earth close by his mentor in his madrasa. In the middle of the vault Gurhana in Mir-i Arab Madrasa is situated the wooden tomb of Ubaidullah Khan. At his head is wrapped in the molds his mentor, Mir-i Arab. Muhammad Qasim, Mudaris a senior teacher of the madrasa died in 1047 Hijra is also interred nearby here. The portal of Miri Arab Madrasa is situated on one axis with the portal of the Kalyan Mosque. However, because of some lowering of the square to the east it was necessary to raise a little an edifice of the Madrasa on a platform. Lab-i-Haus 
The Lab I House or Lab E House, Persian, pound hood meaning by the pond ensemble 1568-1622 is the name of the area surrounding one of the few remaining house, or pond, in the city of Bukhara. Several such ponds existed in Bukhara prior to Soviet rule. The ponds acted as the city's principal source of water, but were also notorious for spreading disease, and thus were mostly filled in during the 1920s and 1930s by the Soviets. The Lab I House survived owing to its role as the centerpiece of an architectural ensemble dating back to the 16th to 17th centuries. The Lab I House ensemble consists of the 16th century Kukeldash Madrasa, the largest in the city, along the north side of the pond. On the eastern and western sides of the pond are a 17th century lodging house for itinerant Sufis, and a 17th century madrasa. There is also a metal sculpture of Nasruddin Hoja, the quick witted and warm hearted man, who forms the central character of many children's folk stories in Central Asian, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, sitting atop his mule with one hand on his heart and the other with an all okay sign above his head. Bahautdin Architectural Complex Bahautdin Architectural Complex is a necropolis commemorating Sheikh Baha Ud Din or Bohautdin, the founder of Naqshbandi order. The complex includes the Dhamma gravestone of Bahautdin, Kakim Kushbegi Mosque, Muzafarkan Mosque, and Abdul Lazizhan Kanka. The site is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage Site tentative list on January 18, 2008. Fortress. Bukhara Fortress, the Ark Topic. Mausoleum Chasma Ayub Mausoleum Chasma Ayub, or Job Spring, is located near the Samani Mausoleum. Its name is said to reflect a legend that states the Prophet Job Ayub in the Quran visited this place and brought forth a spring of water by the blow of his staff on the ground. The water of this well is said to be exceptionally pure, and is regarded for its supposed healing qualities. The current edifice at the site was constructed during the reign of Timur, and features a Khwarezma style conical dome that is otherwise uncommon in the region. Ismail Samani Mausoleum The Ismail Samani Mausoleum 9th -10th centuries, is one of the most highly esteemed work of Central Asian architecture. It was built in the 9th century between 892 and 943 as the resting place of Ismail Samani, the founder of the Samani dynasty, which was the last native Persian dynasty to rule the region in the 9th to 10th centuries, after the Samanids established virtual independence from the Abbasid Caliphate in Baghdad. The site is unique for its architectural style which combines both Zoroastrian and Islamic motifs. The building's façade is covered in intricately decorated brickwork, which features circular patterns reminiscent of the sun. A common image in Zoroastrian art from the region at that time which is reminiscent of the Zoroastrian god, Ahura Mazda, who is typically represented by fire and light. The building's shape is cuboid, and reminiscent of the Kaaba in Maka, while the domed roof is a typical feature of mosque architecture. The syncretic style of the shrine is reflective of the 9th to 10th centuries a time when the region still had large populations of Zoroastrians who had begun to convert to Islam around that time. The shrine is also regarded as one of the oldest monuments in the Bukhara region. At the time of Genghis Khan's invasion, the shrine was said to have already been buried in mud from flooding. Thus, when the Mongol hordes reached Bukhara, the shrine was spared from their destruction. The mausoleum of Pakistan's founding father, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, known as the mazar e quaid in Karachi, was modeled after the shrine. Mosque Bolo Haouz Mosque built in 1712, on the opposite side of the Citadel of Ark in Registan district, Bolo Haouz Mosque is inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage Site list along with the other parts of the historic city. It served as a Friday mosque during the time when the Emir of Bukhara was being subjugated under the Bolshevik Russian rule in 1920s. Char Minar Char Minor alternatively spelled Chor Minor, and also alternatively known as the Madrasa of Khalif Niaz Kul is a building tucked away in a lane northeast of the Liabi House complex. The structure was built by Khalif Niaz Kul, a wealthy Bukharan of Turkmen origin in the 19th century under the rule of the Janid dynasty. The four-towered structure is sometimes mistaken for a gate to the madras that once existed behind the structure, however, the Char Minar is actually a complex of buildings with two functions, ritual and shelter. 
The main edifice is a mosque. In spite of its unusual outward shape, the building has a typical interior for a Central Asian mosque. Owing to the building's cupola, the room has good acoustic properties and therefore takes on special significance of Dikr Hana, a place for ritualized Dikr ceremonies of Sufi, the liturgy of which often include recitation, singing, and instrumental music. On either side of the central edifice are located dwelling rooms, some of which have collapsed, leaving only their foundations visible. Consequently, for full functioning of madrasa only of classroom and some utility rooms is lacking. However, it was common practice that so-called madrasas had no lecture rooms or, even if they had, no lectures had been given in them. These madrasas were employed as student hospices. Each of the four towers has different decorational motifs. Some say that elements of decoration reflect the four religions known to Central Asians. One can find elements reminiscent of a cross, a Christian fish motif, and a Buddhist praying wheel, in addition to Zoroastrian and Islamic motifs. In 1995, due to an underground brook, one of the four towers collapsed and emergency assistance was applied for and granted by UNESCO under the World Heritage Fund. Although the collapse resulted in destabilizing the entire structure, the authorities were anxious to keep awareness of the disaster to a minimum. Without explanation the building disappeared from the list of sites and after hurried reconstruction of the tower, using non-traditional building material, such as poor quality cement and steel. Charminar returned as one of the most popular sites of the city, yet the event has been kept secret ever since. On the esplanade to the right from Charminar is a pool, likely of the same age as the rest of the building complex. Charminar is now surrounded mainly by small houses and shops along its perimeter. Magok i Atari Mosque The former Magoki Atari Mosque was constructed in the 9th century on the remains of what may have been an older Zoroastrian temple. The mosque was destroyed and rebuilt more than once, and the oldest part now remaining is the south façade, which dates from the 12th century, making it one of the oldest surviving structures in Bukhara, and one of few which survived the onslaught of Genghis Khan. Lower than the surrounding ground level, the mosque was excavated in 1935. It no longer functions as a mosque, but, rather, houses a carpet museum. Mosque of Mir Sayyid Ali Hamadan in Bukhara There is a mosque which is said to be that of Mir Sayyid Ali Hamadani, the patron saint of Kashmiri Muslims in the Valley of Kashmir. Transportation Bukhara International Airport has regularly scheduled flights to cities in Uzbekistan and Russia. The M37 highway connects the city to most of the major cities in Turkmenistan including Ashgabat. The city is also served by railroad links with the rest of Uzbekistan, and is a hub for roadways leading to all major cities in Uzbekistan and beyond. Demographics According to the official statistics, the city's population is 82% Uzbeks, 6% Russians, 4% Tajiks, 3% Tatars, 1% Koreans, 1% Turkmens, 1% Ukrainians, 2% of other ethnicities. However, official Uzbek numbers have for long been criticized and refuted by various observers and Western sources and it is widely assumed that the population of the city consists mainly of Tajik-speaking Tajiks, with ethnic Uzbeks forming a growing minority. Exact figures are difficult to evaluate, since many people in Uzbekistan either identify as Uzbek, even though they speak Tajik as their first language, or because they are registered as Uzbeks by the central government despite their Tajik language and identity. According to Soviet estimates in the early 20th century based on numbers from 1913 and 1917, the Tajiks formed the overwhelming majority of city. Until the 20th century, Bukhara was also home to the Bukharan Jews, whose language Bukhari is a dialect of Tajiki. Their ancestors settled in the city during Roman times. Most Bukharan Jews left the city between 1925 and 2000 and settled in Israel and the United States. Ali Akbar Dekoda defines the name Bukhara itself as meaning, full of knowledge, referring to the fact that in antiquity, Bukhara was a scientific and scholarship powerhouse. In the Italian romantic epic Orlando Innamorato by Matteo Maria Boiardo, Bukhara is called Albracca and described as a major city of Cathay. There, within its walled city and fortress, Angelica and the knights she has befriended make their stand when attacked by Agrican, Emperor of Tartary. 
As described, this siege by Agrican resembles the historic siege by Genghis Khan in 1220. Topic: Notable people. Many notable people lived in Bukhara in the past. Among them are. Topic: See also. Bukhara rug. List of World Heritage Sites in Uzbekistan References Sources Gibb, H. A. R. The Arab Conquests in Central Asia. London, The Royal Asiatic Society. OCLC 685253133. Shaban, M. A. The Abbasid Revolution. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 521 29534 3. Bosworth, C. E. Kutaiba B. Muslim. The Encyclopedia of Islam, New Edition, Vol. 5, K. H. E. Mahi. Leiden and New York, Brill. pp. 541-542. ISBN 90-04-07819-3. B. A. Litvinsky, Ahmad Hassan Dani History of Civilizations of Central Asia, The Crossroads of Civilizations, AD 250-750. UNESCO. pp. 1-569. ISBN 9789231032112. Gibb, H. A. R. 1841. Travels in the Himalayan provinces of Hindustan and the Punjab, in Ladakh and Kashmir, in Peshawar, Kabul, Kunduz, and Bukhara, from 1819 to 1825, Vol. 2. Reprint, New Delhi, Sagar Publications, 1971. Topic external links Through the lens, the Silk Road then and now a century of change is captured in photos of a fabled Central Asian oasis. Forbes, Andrew, and Henley, David, Timur's Legacy, The Architecture of Bukhara and Samarkand CPA Media. UNESCO World Heritage List, Historic Center of Bukhara Audio Interview with Bukhara Resident about Life in Bukhara Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Bukhara. Encyclopedia Britannica, 4 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 157-158.